Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about the clip circle brush. So spacebar, or hold spacebar, select the brush palette. We're on blob currently. I want to select clip circle brush, so C, and then it looks like I. Okay, the brush will be selected as the active selection brush press the control shift keys and then click to use it okay so what that means is um, <clears throat> it just tells you a second time just so you just in case you didn't read it the first time you hold um, okay go uh, spacebar click the brushes palette then hold down control and shift and then you will see the clip circle along with a few others twitched or did stuff okay so let's click the clip circle brush Okay, that is active. So now when we hold down control shift, clip circle is activated. And <clears throat> now holding down control shift, we can click outside of the sphere or object we're on to do something like this. It here, I'm I'm going to take off uh, symmetry just to see what that does. Okay, so it took everything but the selection I had, or removed everything but the selection I had. So I'm going to drag out a circle, then hold down spacebar, and go in the center. Hopefully this drills a hole right in the middle, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay, so it um, got rid of everything else besides the circle I had, which uh, gives us this, um, a distorted pill. Control Z. Let's do that again. Control Shift, Spacebar. Oh, sorry. Um, control Shift, click and drag, then Spacebar. Um, now I'm gonna hold down Alt to invert the selection, and this will give me a, you know, connected pipe type um, look. To demonstrate, doesn't that look like um? Uh, let's see. Let's. Uh, select the half of the, half of this with uh, control, and then click inside the object to um, feather it a few times. Then click near or click and drag near the top, and hold down Shift to get a straight up and down look. And then go to the rotate tool, and click over here and drag, kind of in the middle, and then hold Shift key to um, draw out a straight line. And then at back at the starting, we're on rotate. Let's rotate it a little bit. Fancy. Cool. Okay, then I'm going to go to move and move it over just a little bit. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. I like that. Now. We just made a pipe. Isn't that cool? So click and then um, sub, let's see. S uh, geometry Dynamesh was on, so we smoothed the area that didn't look too great. And then let's go back up to the top, go to draw, and control shift drag and then spacebar in the middle of this and let's see what this does. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, control Z. Okay, that's nice. Let's see if we can get... <clears throat> I don't know, let's just play with the control shift a little bit more. So, okay, that, cut out that. Control shift, alt that did that okay now let's control shift click and drag and see what this does it's a flat surface I'm not sure um, it's probably gonna cut everything else out but this circle yeah just like I thought um, getting that okay control Z do the same thing control shift 
click and drag and spacebar and adjust it a little bit so it's like that and then hold down alt I wonder what this is gonna do um, let's see control Z it it um, did a little something I'm not sure let's try that again okay let's make it a little smaller okay alt okay yeah I don't know that's not too impressive oh but I didn't look at the back side so edit redo or control shift Z control shift Z it uh, did that so that's fancy anyway that is the spacebar brushes palette clip circle brush I hope to use this a whole bunch to um, probably make uh, weapons that's my initial thought but or or something for the latest twisted metal game for PS3 I'm so excited I I was not thinking clearly I remember it uh, the, their website saying that it was being released on Valentine's Day but I was um, preoccupied so when I have enough money I'm gonna go buy it yeah anyway <clears throat> that was again that was the clip circle brush and yeah